Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Metro Exodus. We, in the last episode, I needed an autosave to be able to quit without losing a lot of uh, looting. Uh, so I went all the way to the other side of the map of where we actually were. We were somewhere over there, or over there, to the safe house to um, get some rest and get an autosave. I wasn't sure whether sleeping creates an autosave, but luckily it did. Um, hmm. It looks like... How long do we hold out in this desert for? With no purpose, no hope. Set player. <laughs> Probably I already played it earlier. I don't remember. Then they came. Ex-military, ex-oil rig workers and ex-mobsters. Well, the latter were not so ex. These did have a purpose, an idea. I'm sure we laughed at them at first, playing gods. But then the notion of taking a shot at creating a semblance of order out of this chaos slowly sunk in. In the end, we all joined that flame swallowing circus. I think we already heard this well, one. This world is new. So cut it and got some slack. Hey, what's that? There's probably goodies over there. In that truck. But I need to get there in my car so I don't waste bullets on them. Anyways, the plan is to get back to where we were, over there somewhere. But before, uh, on along the way, we are going to hit that little um, derailed train. Because there are enemies in there, I saw on the way up here. And probably that means there will also be loot in there. So first let's check out that little overturned car over there. Then we go over there and then we head back to our objective, which is actually the question mark in the northwestern section of the map, all the way at the other side. But first let's loot a bit down here. Here we go. <laughs> ah, God damn it! I don't have like... I already cleared this out. I don't really have a machine gun. I don't have a lot of bullets in this one. By the way, I don't hear any footsteps. Ah, God damn it. My connection. My headset, uh, the, the plug is really finicky. It loses one channel of audio um, if I just touch it. If I touch it again, it returns. Anyways, now it's good. Anyways, um, what was I saying? That I already looted this place. And I forgot what I was saying. That we need to get to... The car. Ah, I was talking about the gun. I don't have a lot of bullets in this gun. And it's also not really like a close to medium range gun. It's more or less suited for range uh, single shot sniper uh, battles. And my alternative is like a very close range gun, which is also not really good for this open areas. I need like a medium range weapon, like a Kalash. I don't have it. Of course I do have the T-Car. Let's create some balls for it. And also create some medicine. All right, good to go. Let's drive over some zombies. I can get out via the back side. Ah, I actually think 
think I cannot. Zombies, take my truck. I'm still not sure what these monu monuments are. These little thingies. Here's one. What the hell is that over there? That ship we didn't check out yet, I guess. It's probably for later. It seems they uh, built. So let's check the loot. And watch out for the flying uh, dudes. Holy fuck! Get in there, dude! Get the hell in there! <laughs> Holy shit! That was sneaky! See you later, dude! I didn't think so. I do hear one. I actually hear a couple of them. But I don't really see them. Ah, there's one. Hmm, I think I am... I got my car stuck, I'm afraid. Hey, damn it. little car you can do this car it's a pretty agile car I must say like an off-road car all right let's see what we have here a dude a chest a book which I cannot read Metro ah that's like maybe the first uh, does it say 233? 2034 it says. Alright. That's actually the thing. With encounters like these. 
It's it's hardly worth it. Imagine if I wouldn't have used the car but just the gun. Then the bullet spent clearing it out would have been more than I would have gained back by the loot probably. Let's check out that other car. Ah, this is my car. Alright, we have an option to go there. I still wonder... Ah, I can actually zoom in. I didn't know that. I already was like this binocular is hardly doing any magnification, but I can actually zoom it. I think that's where the overlord of the area will be, the Baron. But that's for later. Let's first clear out that little encampment and get back to our question mark on the map. Let's see where this ends up. Can I get in there? Nope. Right? Nope, don't think so. Alright, this will probably... Maybe it's best to save first. Because the chance that I will be killed is pretty high. I only need to be grazed by a bullet and it kills me on this difficulty level. So it will take some extra time. I will be a bit cautious and do a safe. Oh, sorry. Man, that flying monster is so annoying. Here we go. Here we go. And back to sleep. Please give me an autosave. Still not sure whether this is linked to the sleeping or time based. Yes, nice, autosave. You do get it after sleeping. No. No. Oh man, this is so annoying. Oh, clumsy shit like this. Here we go. <laughs> Let's clear out that other camp. Where the hell is the car? Cool chopper, by the way. A lot of choppers over here. I think there's also a chopper on the roof. There was a big aerial battle, it seems, over here. I could try is actually use the sniper uh, rifle getting these dudes I 
I assume it are enemies. I'm not even sure. Yeah, they don't e look friendly, right? Oh, an annoying snake I hear again. I could, of course, I need to play the good guy, so it's probably best to try to take them out sneakily, sneaky. That could be harder said than done. Alright, if they start shooting me, then I'm not the aggressor. So that could be a way to remain the good guy. But probably they will immediately kill me. As soon as they start shooting. Let's see how close I can get. Man, the sound is coming from there in my headphones, like the totally opposite direction of where it actually comes from. Try that again. Once the other dude walks back. There's also a lot of eating going on over there with the monsters. Maybe I can lure him away. Let's try to lure him away. Alright, he is not being distracted. There are actually two of them over there. Alright dudes. Uh, why the hell should I stick around here alone? A whole gang could get eaten here. Are they both walking back? Yes, they are. Yeah, shit. I'm just like fast 
missing out here. That's no good. <laughs> you bitch! There he is! <laughs> Alright. I wasn't like really the good guy. I'm actually not too happy with this. But I really don't feel like doing this over and he was really i feel like about to shoot me so it was some kind of i wouldn't call it self-defense but where's that weapon that he dropped i don't understand these weapons sometimes you simply cannot Disable the weapons. Super annoying. Here. Now I take, take my weapon back. His weapon is below him. Somehow my weapon is not loaded anymore after I switch it. And I simply cannot... Dis disassemble that weapon. Probably because... That body is on top of it. But it's really, really finicky, the controls. Regarding looting and stuff. Let's check out this lamp. A blue light. And a red one. Anyways, I'm really not too happy with that I shot that guy. I wanted to do it fully stealthily. You cannot win them all, I guess. And it's also a bummer that I cannot use this quad. Let's see what we have for loot. Probably nothing much. Indeed, nothing much. They're all open already. It's probably because of the difficulty level. If I would have played it on a lower difficulty level, probably those other loot boxes would be full still all right let's just leave it at this and also let's see what those animals are eating actually what's that over there but I will look at that later that that's like a gate or like a mast of a ship all right I saw some of those Flying creatures eating something around here. think there's anything here there's not let's get to where we need to go 
and I guess we can take that yeah let's just take the same routes back to how I came that's the route over here or the road I hear a lot of monsters and again I don't see any in this base <coughs> so we have to make a sharp right u-turn <laughs> sorry guys say the blood splatters are way too light so really unrealistic blood color in my book Cleared out this camp in the previous episodes. And there are enemies at the end of this road. At least there were in the previous episodes. Over there, near the truck. So, chances that I will be killed over here are pretty damn big. Although it does look a lot more quiet. They were also not only shooting at me, I think they were also shooting at other, another faction over there. Maybe they killed each other. Check out these textures, they simply do not load in. You would expect it to perform better with a 280 Ti on only 1440p. Alright, we have some monsters over there. I hear something walking close by. I don't see anything. Ah, there. That are the mega rabbits. There could very well be some dudes over there near the lights.
But let's first take out those monsters over there with the truck. The enemies, they disappeared, so that's good. Because they are way too lethal in my book. Half a bullet is all that it takes to kill our champ. Here we go. the annoying part always when I'm in my truck they seem to scatter or disappear I don't see them anymore. Let's check out this truck. Can I drive it? Nope. <laughs> Nothing in the truck. Check out that boat. <laughs> so I must say the lighting in this game is very good with the ray tracing probably and the art design, but I don't think the textures are all that much. Oh shit! Ah, fuck. God damn it. This is a long way back. This is actually all the way back to the safe house. All right, guys, I will do that in the next episodes. I don't really feel like uh, giving it another try. The good news is that those four enemies one of which I did not kill stealthily. Now I can um, take those out. Uh, I have a retry for them to take them out all stealthily and remain uh, the good guy. But I will do that in the next episode, guys. Sorry. I um, hope you still enjoyed it somewhat. Didn't really accomplish a lot in this episode, but it is what it is. I still enjoyed it. Um, yeah, pretty much. Hope to see you in the next episode and for the meantime, do not forget to always do keep on gaming. See you later.